Welcome back. You know, there was a big festival in Ohio mm -hmm. over the weekend that celebrated the legend of Bigfoot. It was held in a park where a family claimed to have seen the ape-like creature two years ago. Wow, and there have been plenty of Sasquatch <laughs> sightings here in northwestern Pennsylvania as well. John Locke last headed to the woods for this edition of The Last Word. Did you know that Pennsylvania ranks third in the country for the number of Bigfoot sightings? And a lot of those sightings were reported here at Kinzu Bridge State Park and the Allegheny National Forest. There's hundreds of thousands of acres of forest land in these parts, a perfect place for Bigfoot to reside, if the creature does indeed exist. Believers flock to Kinzu Bridge State Park, hoping to learn more about the furry behemoth. Jason Burt works at the Visitor Center Merchandise Shop. He talks to a lot of those believers. It's been kind of big around here and everybody uh, has different stories about where they th they think they've seen them before and so everybody's always out here trying to, to look for them. The park is all in on the Bigfoot phenomenon. <laughs> the merchandise shop sells Bigfoot stickers, magnets, postcards and t-shirts. The Bigfoot penny press is a popular way to get a souvenir. <gasps> A reported Bigfoot sighting at the park is part of an exhibit at the Visitor's Center. This is definitely Bigfoot country. And I will say the, uh, the visitors um, uh, letting us know that they've seen Bigfoot is maybe a little more common than you might think. Matt Shank is an educator at the park. But as far as visitors with photos or real evidence, um, definitely fewer and far between. Do you believe in Bigfoot or anything like that? I haven't seen the proof of it myself. No. John Stoneman of Bradford claims to have some proof that looks quite convincing. He took these pictures from his car in 2013. The shots were taken four miles from the State Park Visitors Center. The pictures show not one, but two Bigfoot creatures. But I took a lot of shots. I just kept shooting and shooting and shooting. They appeared to be walking through the woods. John says the creatures were seven to eight feet tall. He also took a picture of a crunched up speed limit sign. He says was too far off the road for a vehicle to damage. But yeah, it looks like somebody put their hand on the bottom of the sign and just pushed up on it. It's exactly what it looks like. John is a musician and wrote a song about his Bigfoot experience. One line goes like this. I was a skeptic on that fateful day. But seeing what I saw took all my doubts away. With the last word at Kinzu Bridge State Park, John Last, Erie News Now. So you have to look around, right? After you seeing do. that story, yeah. John Stillman, the man who took the photographs, is very popular at Bigfoot conventions and festivals, and you can see why. Yeah, and you have the shirt on with Bigfoot over there, too. Sure. Yeah. Northwest Pennsylvania, by the way, has two annual Bigfoot festivals. One is in Marionville in Forest County, and then the other is in McKean County in the community of Kane. Two options. Two options. <laughs> we'll be right back.